Welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing some more Pale Beyond. Um, actually, when I loaded this up again, I had to go through the journal entries again, so I just did that really quick here before, um, well, before we started. So, week 12. Let's see what we have here. Penguins are here. Interesting. I don't remember those being there. It was so big. Do you think there's another one out there? The dogs have been in, on edge since that creature attacked. They prefer to be hunters on the ice. Let's hope we never see a repeat of the situation. I agree. That was not pleasant. I'm glad we were um, able to be, well, able to have everything that we could. The beast was quite the specimen. I wonder if we'll encounter another of its kind. Captain, close one yesterday, wasn't it? Let's hope there aren't any more beasties looking to make dinner of us. I agree. Um, we are going to feed the hoosh pot with whatever penguins we have. And what does that put us up to? 45? Honestly, it's probably fine to do that too. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, he's only malnourished. It's okay. Um, same thing here. Feed the furnace. Let's feed it with two. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's then take on the weak captain. This territory of ice we find ourselves on, seeing we have our picks of the litter. The ice is teeming with life. Life that has never encountered our likes in the past. We'll be able to hunt to our heart's content. Until we come across another leper shield. Sealed? Seal? We should be cautious. Be wise to spend a good deal of time here. Can't afford to get too comfortable in the ice. Uh, can't afford to get too comfortable on the ice. Indeed, we will not be able to stay here forever. Here's left me assessment of the coming dangers. The ice is not stable. Simply, we have the dead ice encroaching behind us and the risk of a pressure bridge building up and forming in front of us. Lovely. Not stay here for too long unless we find ourselves trapped here. Still, that's a worry for another time. Now our main concern is the crew. They're shaken from the attack? Of course. Well, that's not what I meant. Your time as captain of this expedition has surpassed that of Captain Hunt. It's not the case in the eyes of all sailor. Loyalty runs deep in their veins. Take the Stoke brothers, for example. They voted against you. They still speak of Hunt as captain. Refuse that moniker on you. Every song the Elder One plays on his accordion, they're traditional songs of the sea folk. His loyalty to Hunt is clear as day. Be careful around those two. All that is needed is one insignorant with enough pull to lead the crew astray. all to hunt, but they do their work, that's what I care about. Simply stating that we should look out for regardless. He has some requests to deal with. They're waiting outside. So speaking of loyalty, where are we at? <laughs> Hammond is still... Oh, man. Alright. Well, we need to get him up. <laughs> Good luck ever getting Grimly up there, I guess. We do have Junior, so that's good. We'd like to get him up a bit more... Templeton as well, um, Cordell, Nutley's right there, okay. Okay, well let's take the request today. And speaking of Cordell, Camp Shaw, this area is teeming with life, naive life at that. Creatures have been seen humans before, they do not even know how to run. Some of them, some will even approach out of curiosity, in my opinion we should be engaging in hunts as often as we can. Agreed, thank you. Well, despite it all, we've managed to land ourselves a hefty piece of meat, a leopard seal, and the fish in its belly. It's up to you how we prepare it, Shaw. Feast on thing would be nice. Yes, tonight, feast on leopard seal. Good to hear. I'm sure the crew will be ecstatic. Yeah, you know what? Anything that increases his, I'm happy for. Mr. Gloss, 
This bottle of wine in my personal store, so my wife and I plan to enjoy it on our trip home, but it seems that that's much further out than we first believed. So we thought, why not share it with the crew? Bring in the proper new, bring in the new camp proper. Better idea, we should spread it out, add it to the rations, or an excellent idea. I'm assuming that'll bring up the decorum. Should spread it out, add it to the rations. Hope for more of a celebration, though I suppose it's best we show some restraint. Very well, leave the bottle with our cook. 20 food, nice, that's huge. Yeah, that's better than decorum. Just waking now. Couldn't sleep. Scared of another seal attack, eh? I. At least you're honest about it. It's true. Okay, so first off, let's get to the map. Um, we need to be going out and looking for stuff. Okay, hunting. Not hunting. Hunting. Okay. Awesome. And, oh yeah, we can't actually scout anymore, so let's get people going with Shooty Shootersons. <laughs> um, okay, that's good. If we come back here, give off two fish, that means we can send out two more goes as well. I mean, if we can get at least some of that. I mean, the again, the decorum I'm less concerned about, but the research that we'll get out of it later is more so the good thing. Um, send the engineers out as well. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and that means the med bay, the two freezing people, let's cure them off of that. Right? have anyone that was frostbitten, right? Okay, no, good. <laughs> um, oh, we need a second one to make that. Got it. Okay. Well, I guess I can do this. Put you here. Perfect. I know you haven't done that, so... Quite happy with that. Crew have their meal. Dinner shared and stories are traded. Lost in thought? Er, our encounter with wildlife has left me rather perturbed. We can only be thankful none were harmed. Indeed. Captain, you don't call me here so frequently. You receive your updates each day. You should focus on your crew and your own rest. This is my rest time with my acquaintance, Mr. Templeton. Flattering. Do not deny we're partners in this endeavor. I suppose the act of survival goes beyond a simple professional relationship. Jaw, heard the photographer call my songs poetry earlier. Never really thought about being a poet, can't even write. Writing isn't a requirement, poetry is oral too. Music and poetry are similar, you can see the comparison, can't you? Or, right, heard your music, poetry is not the word I'd use, ouch. Um, writing is a requirement. Poetry is oral too. You might as well sing at that point. Are poets just lazy musicians? Mm, no. Have you ever attended theater, Captain? It's a luxury I've not yet indulged in quite some time, a good ten years at least. I've seen a few plays in my time, yes? It's good to know. Perhaps we can trade experiences at some point. Joining the craft of the theater is quite the escape, Captain. Shame that it's the luxury. Um, we cannot carry with us on the ice. There's so many things. It's definitely Joe's coat we found, wasn't it? You think they're still out there? Wouldn't be surprised. Hunt's tough for an old man. We don't know how long this jacket was there. Don't get your hopes up. 
him, tell him not to get carried away. Um, I don't know, we can't know anything for certain. They're gone. Don't get carried away in this fantasy. See? Nah, that jacket means something. Could mean Joe froze to death. Well, don't you have a sunny disposition? I'm being realistic. Look at the shaken, chief. Worried about another attack from some beastie? Aye, worried about some of them getting into the spoiler. If it's wrecked, we're done for. We should have an overnight watch then? I'll handle that. Of course you will. It's true. You always will. Timmy, don't be wandering off. I'm fine, da. Stay close to me. Don't know what's out there. I said I'm fine. Alright, evening. Our rescue ship better be coming. Don't trust the benefactor coming through. Um. Hmm. Cynicism will get us nowhere. I do need to actually get his loyalty up. Do you trust Templeton? Nope. Um, man knows what he's doing. He's loyal to the business first and foremost. Can't say I blame him. It's true. Heard some crew talking about how they missed proper food back on land. Ungrateful bastard should have smacked them. Huh, can't blame them though. I've been out here quite a long time. Their complaints are ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with your food. I know that, as do they, I bet. Still, they miss something. That's fair. For me, it's the sea I miss. Make your way towards the main camp, approaching Kurt as he speaks to Nutley. Well, it's not that I find use in it. I understand. I know the struggles of having so much pressure on you put on you at a young age. So, you're saying you were nervous when you were my age? No, of course not. I was a six foot five hooker in rugby, but of course I can emphasize. You approach and you notice Kasha following close behind you. A few steps back with some hesitation. Kurt's eyes catch you calls the both of you over. Ah, Captain Shaw, I was just helping our good doctor. Our first trip onto the ice left him a bit shaken, and I'm set to calm him with his spirits. I have spoken to Cash before, but Fan, Nutley's more resilient than he appears. Oh yeah, no. Nutley's more resilient as he appears. He'll be fine. Mostly taken aback by your statement. Do you really think that? Of course, I can see it myself. No brave man when I see it. I'm looking at one right now. Why? Who's behind me? The comment causes Cash to laugh profusely. Why the laughter? Oh, you're serious. Apologies. He stares at the floor. Probably don't have it in me, not compared to the rest of the crew. The rest? Yes, I look at someone like Hammond rescuing the boiler, how Cash had covered the plagues in the streets, and you, with your famous expeditions. What do I have? She steps forward into the conversation. What kind of jape? You're a doctor. You perform surgery. That's brave enough as is. Oh, thank you. You're a trained surgeon, none of us can say that. It's true. A valuable part of the crew. I didn't even look at the others there. I just chose that one because it makes the most sense. <laughs> right? Yes, I am. Uh, thank you, Captain Shaw. Hi, we're all doing a good job of pulling our weight around here. He returns to his tent as Kurt begins to share stories with Kasha. The young journalist is keenly taking notes. All right. I mean, seems all right. Just do that, I guess. So we get cured of freezing. Or, oh, crew member will develop freezing. Yeah, we don't want to do that. If we, yeah. If we go down one. I mean, 50 is fine. Someone will become malnourished. It's like I want to keep some of it for later, right? Feels like we're not getting a whole lot here. That's a lot of people freezing. Okay. But as long as everyone else is cured of it... Six people who are freezing. Okay. That could be worse. 
definitely could be worse. Okay, well, first things first, let's pet all the dogs. Perfect. Second thing second, Hammond, you approach Hammond at the boiler. Morn, starting to miss that ship. I've got spare time on my hands, first time for anything. Sure you'll find something to do. Aye. Fair time's a poison. You want to avoid it when you can. Huh. I should check out where we at now. Okay, so he's getting there. Grimly is still far away, but look where Junior's at now. That's fantastic. And Nutley's a little higher than the bar, too. Okay, that's good. Um, The furnace. Well, let's keep feeding it with whatever we can, basically. Now, if we do one of these, okay, it heals their freezing right now. It does. Okay, that's actually. That's kind of huge. I might do one more then. Perfect. Because I need to send them out for more. Spend three to get, what, six? <laughs> so, or something like that. Um, same thing with the hoosh pot. Um, basically just using these and yeah we're out of the other things well, I mean it puts us up to 50 so that's okay let's take a look at the requ oh never mind not the requests speak to the two men I'm not accusing you of anything why do you keep launching questions at me I told you on the ship the engineering was impeccable then why did we sink, Hammond? Why am I sentenced to the ice? There's more important things to be getting on with, Templeton. I just need to know what happened to the Temperance. Was it sabotage? They stopped to turn to you. Captain, good of you to join us. Templeton was just interrogating me. Not interrogation. We all have questions here. Um. Yeah, you know what? Templeton's loyalty is high with us, so we can spend a little bit of his to get Hammond's up. So... So I have questions of your own, Hammond. And we've now gained his loyalty. Fantastic. Aye. Right, I bloody do. Does Shaw not even know who the benefactor is? He... Templeton... No, I don't, actually. Um, Templeton looks between the two of you and considers the moment. Scientist scans the room before moving to pick up a food tin from the corner. He lifts the tin and throws it towards you. Inspect it. The Apperton Tinning Co. Tinned fresh peaches consumed within three days of opening. Are you serious? That's who's paying for this. You might die in the middle of nowhere for a tinned food company, Shaw. They have additional investments. Um, certainly step down from the Avonlea. It's no matter, the money is good. This changes nothing but the mission. The mission is still our survival, not money. Of course, but I'm certain you would appreciate handsome pay as a reward for said survival. Come and observe each other. Are we all in agreement, Captain? Aye, for now, as he exits. Okay, well, let's take some requests. Hey, Junior. Shaw. I'm stock on our current food after leaving the Temperance Cap. Burning through food stores at a fair rate. Luckily, game is in abundance here. It should not be difficult to stockpile further food stores. For the time, yes. But winter is fast approaching. And with it, the game will start to dry up most of our time. So we're going to survive the winter. What's your estimate, Mr. Stoke? Hard to say, but we'll need enough to last us 12 weeks. That's the bare minimum, assuming the tightest rations possible during winter. Understood. Thank you, Junior. Great. Uh, must consider the encroaching winter. If we don't have enough to last the winter, survival is just not possible. Agreed. Ah, Captain. Sunlight won't last forever, you know. No time like the present to play a game of rugby. Game with the crew, that's what you're suggesting? Why not? It keeps spirits high and the blood pumping. An active crew is a healthy crew. 
Um, as much as I would love to, perhaps another time, just because we need to get so much food and I can't send people not to get them. Everyone already has work to do. Oh well, first comes first. Uh, maybe the summer keeps, we might have another chance. Don't think it will, though. Shock. Notice something. Crew go into those interviews with the photographer all shaken, but they're always feeling better when they come out. Seeing speaking with Belford has, helps alleviate some of their stress and trauma. I thought you should know. Well, Captain, she can any send any shaken crew her way. So perhaps you may have noticed discontent among the crew. Sight of his glances and the like. Yes? may thank the Elder Stoke for that. Perhaps you should listen to what he's been playing as of late for the crew. Songs of Disrespect, Songs of Mutiny. Seems intent to sow distress for you among the crew. He's becoming a problem. Well, I feel I should make peace with the man somehow. You're all have a difficult time, Captain. Stoke seems to have dug in his heels. You need to find some way to appease him, either that or remove his accordion from the equation. Um, hmm. Pretty sure that would cause more conflict. But talk with him, Templeton. I suggest you do. Simple talk may not be enough, though. Lovely. That's better when you're not lugging any equipment off a ship, don't you think? Hark, you're one of the young ones. Let's throw my back out every day. Well, some, some well-deserved rests on the way. If you think this is the end of our work, we've got nothing coming. All right. Well, first off, let's get more nice going out here. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, we've got, got seals to hunt, so let's go hunting some seals. Oh, those are leopard seals. Okay. Well, that's totally going to be worth it. Oh, we're out of um, dogs. So we actually do need at least two of those. All right, let's go Tucker and you. Then can at least send some more people out that way. Some more research. Are we getting to the point where we can do this? 27 of 30, so close actually. Oh, um, didn't want to go back. All right. We still have quite a few people though, so I guess we could have done Rugby, then. Oh, well. Um. Yeah, we can sign someone to you. Who haven't we out of here? Nomez? Maybe Nomez? Med Bay. Let's get the uh, people that are freezing in here. Okay. Um. In terms of food, is there anything else we want to throw in? I mean, we're up to 55. That seems fine. the crew have their meal. Dinner shared and stories are traded. Okay, well, got a few people to talk to, so keep me and Shaw. Been here quite a while, haven't we? As long as I've been on the ice, no doubt. Put on a brave face for the young ones. Hark, <laughs> that's the plan. Can't imagine what's running through their heads. 
Not even I'm prepared for this lengthiest day. It must weigh heavy on them. Captain, something occurs to me. You know, starting a little of your life. You invited me here on several times now, and I've given a little thought into asking you about your own affairs. Staggering lack of etiquette, wouldn't you agree? Don't care much for etiquette. I haven't been offended. I suppose one wouldn't expect the kennel master to concern themselves with such matters to begin with. Rest assured, I will not be the time myself to the matter of etiquette in the future. You are Captain Shaw, that is all I need to know. Alright. Enough time has passed, our benefactor may have realized that a disaster has occurred. I've known our benefactor for quite some time. Rest assured, they will not be giving up on this expedition. Um... Let's hope not, and our hope rides on their rescue ship. Trust them to send rescue. Responsibility on our end lies on surviving long enough to see it. Alright, Hammond. Crewmate just asked me if the dog suits serve as emergency fuel. Don't think they were serious, but I had a bloody good laugh imagining the kennel master's face if we suggested it. Sure, you tell Cordell and I'll watch. Cash will work on your obituary. <laughs> ah, you're a funny one now, are you? Uh, pretty sure it's Captain's job to pass on that message. You should try it. Nope, definitely shouldn't. Nope, okay, what's going on here? You know the sailors are still seated around the campfire, listening to the rapt attention as Grimly plays on his accordion. As he continues to play, the crew join in on the song. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we're getting a song. This rock, no thaw and sin, never tells which way is sight, hardly tells their arse from mud. They never had a notion for taking our command, send us to the hells for biscuits, we eat out of their hands, we eat out of their hands. That's funny. Captain Hunt could take a ship. Further than his fingertip, Captain Shaw can't move a piece. Hey. What a waste of hauling space. Well, that's they rude. never had a notion for taking our command. Send us to the hells for biscuits. We eat out of their hands. We eat out of their hands. Okay. Interesting. I myself didn't really care. So I'm going to laugh it off. I don't think we need to smash his accordion. A little laugh and the crew look to you. They beat him a laugh in return. The festivities of dinner wind down as all return to their business. And it's not the end of the world. Yeah. You have any children of your own? Uh, I could say I do. No, none. Why do you ask? Yeah, I do. You miss them? Most of the crew don't know what it's like. Dogs need the rest, as do I. Okay, I already talked to them. Okay. Shouldn't you be with your father, lad? I'm grown enough. Not the same at your age. Aye, a long time ago. <laughs> Get yourself lucky someone's taking care of you, lad. Captain never thought I'd say it. I'm starting to miss being on proper land. For the sea, do you? Better people at sea. A lot of bad memories back on land. Okay. You know, I used to be much taller than Grimly when we were growing up. It would piss him off something fierce, being the older brother, even hunt with folk fun. Don't know why I'm remembering that now, though. I don't suppose he appreciate me poking fun, would he? <laughs> He'd deck you, no doubt. He even tried that with uh, Captain Hunt a few times. Oh, that's lovely. It's good to have some music with your dinner, is it not? I suppose we could 
should take what's given to us. I intended to bring a phonograph, but there is no space among my equipment. A shame. But I quite enjoy what we have now. Let's retire for the evening. Okay. Hunt had a musician on his crew when I was a small one. Learned how to make and play the accordion from them. But then they just left. Was what hunter? What happened to them? Suppose you admired them, didn't you? Admired the music. Did what I wanted to do right then. I mean, we are getting his loyalty up. He just has such a high bar. Okay. Call it for the night. Sounds like... Yeah, it's only been 30 minutes. We can probably do this over once more. Um, honestly, I kind of want to hop down on that. No one's malnourished right now. And everyone gets cleared of freezing, which is huge. Ten available crew, nice. Um, yeah, people are going to be frozen, but that's okay. The wounded does kind of suck. Not a whole lot we can do to that. Just the two of them that were wounded though, so that should be okay. A lot of people healed of it. Okay. This is this is fine. I can deal with this. Three weeks at second camp. All right. Let's see what we have here. Um, this one wandered in my tent this morning. Come along, Pasco. Don't bother the doctor. Can you get into your stores by any chance? No, he just woke me up from my sleeping bag. He was licking my face. Friendly one. No need to be frightened, doctor. I'm not. Of course. I'm gonna miss the summer when it leaves us. Never took you for a summer man, Hammond. I'm not. Winter means colder. Colder means having to waste more fuel on this bloody thing. Not looking forward to that, let me tell you. Well, he's not wrong. Um, yeah, let's feed this with whatever we can. So we have a couple people that we need to really oh did that not I did the wrong thing for freezing didn't I well we're up to um... oh man <laughs> oh that's so unfortunate I mean, we could do this. Raise the heat. To cure a couple people of freezing. That's nice. Okay, we did that. Um, we still need to put stuff in here, though. Man. Really didn't want to do it that way. Because I really don't want to use this stuff for it. Okay. Um, well, out of here, the med bay, you two need to come in here. Okay, well, let's check this out. Hey, Runt. Okay, what's up, Runt? Captain, I've been thinking. Who's it, young man? Well, I'm not a very good sailor. I'm small, I'm not very strong. Well, we're sorry to hear that. 
But I still want to help. There's plenty of sailors. There's not as many scouts or scientists or engineers. Well, those roles require quite specialized skills. I can learn. Dr. Nutley loaned me his books I have been learning to read. I can still help, just a little. Learning doctorate's out of the question, but training isn't. If you're diligent, suppose you could be taught some basics enough to lend a hand at least. That's what I thought. Captain, please. Interesting. You're fine as a sailor, you'll grow into the role. To Kurt. Hammond. You know what? Let's send you to Nutley. You're his assistant. Oh, huge loyalty boost. Okay, I will. Thank you, Captain. Dr. Nutley's already lacking in proper experience, but he knows his theory. Perhaps a spare pair of hands is what the doctor needs. Shooting rent is given the camp plus one maximum doctor slot. That's cool. Curtin Hammond, Mr. Zack. Telling you, you're jumping the gun here. I'm telling you, you're out of your bloody mind. Gentlemen, it seems to be the issue here. Apologies for bursting in like this, but winter's on its way. We need to hunker down as soon as possible. If we want to survive the cold, we'll need to set the camp up for the winter in two weeks. I think it's a good idea. We want protection from the elements, I understand, but I know just how long the winter can last. If we haven't stocked all enough food, we'll starve to death. Also agreed. Suggest a longer hunting period? Much longer. Five weeks if we can. Five bloody weeks. Winter will hit by then, are you mad? We have enough to live off of. Two weeks is all we need. Sorry, been on the ice before? You talk like you have. Don't need experience to have common bloody sense, do I? Men, calm down. There's no need to return this argument personal. Captain, your thoughts? Well, I really want to push. Like, what's his loyalty at now? Versus Kurt. Um, Hammond. Hammond's right. We can't risk waiting too long. Oh, that's a huge drop in boost, though. But Captain, we would be prepared. Darling, that's enough. The decision's, the decision's been made. Trust the captain's choice. Perhaps two weeks from now, circumstances will change. Yeah, I can always agree to continue on if needed. Well, you'll both carry on with your work. Fine. Okay. Trust you, Captain. Mr. Zack. Captain, a suggestion. The ice at this camp seems stable enough that we could conceivably drill a hole through it. For what purpose? Ice fishing. Understand the crew are quite adept at the pastime. It would prove a pathway to gather more food. Yeah. Um, yeah, why not? Send the people that are freezing to it. Certainly, I'll assign some crew to that matter. Thank you, Captain. Direct them to their duties. This will catch something worthwhile. Hopefully. The earlier debate between Mr. Hammond and Mr. Darling was quite worrying. If our navigator and engineer are gods, a divide will form amongst the crew. Neither are endearing themselves to the sailors, it seems. Cause for concern, no doubt. Crews like the body. Each organ must be working in tandem if we are to survive. Yeah, that is the thing, isn't it? This is warm as it gets down here. It's still cold, isn't it? You think you're cold? Wait until you have old bones like mine. I'm still not stuck here when I'm old. <laughs> warm one day, relatively speaking. I understand how we could grow so used to the cold. I never can't even handle a proper summer back home these days. An island summer just be might be what I need when this is all done. Yeah. Okay, well, let's continue scouting. Now what way do we want to go? North? East? Um Do we have enough for this? We could. Hunt the migrating elephant seals. How many people can we send to do that? Three. And then four? Wow, that's huge, actually. Okay. Oh, I always forget. Can't do that. Oh, no, and now I have to... <sighs> okay. Well, continue scouting then. Penguins, got it.
More penguins. Got it. Alright, we have two people left out of the crew. Um, is it worth it for them to go out? Because who else do I have here and available? The scientists. Got it. You know what? It might be worth it for them to do that then. Because... There we go. Because the, the penguins don't really give us a whole lot. I'd like to clear these out. We're going to get a good amount from that too. Okay. Um, can we, can we put up the furnace anymore? I mean, I guess we can with the fish. I keep that for the scurvy, unfortunately, which we don't really have right now. 2182. Okay. Let's do that. Call the crew for dinner. We'll go from there. crew have their meal. Dinner shared and stories are traded. Are we going to listen to another song tonight? Stanberry and Pascal were engaged in a fight this morning, a more serious matter than the usual scrap. Put a stop to it, but it's concerning. These two often get along. They're dogs. Doesn't seem very right. Are you pushing them too hard? Mm -hmm. Perhaps the pressure is finally getting to them. The ice can do this to people. Dogs are no different. Hope not, but you may be right. The stress can affect us all, can it not? We'll have to be more gentle with the pair in the coming weeks. Looks like we got the fishing going. That's nice. Sean, do you look at me as an old man? Don't mistake me. I know I'm getting up there in years, but I'm a father, not a grandfather. I'm perfectly capable, if that's what you're asking. In a way, yes, I suppose that's more pressing than the gray hairs. I, it's alright, Robin. I don't mind being seen as the old man, just as long as I'm not the useless old man. Agreed. I was looking at my contract, Captain. For you and Templeton, I'm next in command. So don't bloody die, I don't want that responsibility. Reluctant to take charge, or better you than Templeton? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, well, now I can't die, I don't want to subject the crew to your leadership. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, reluctant to take charge? Reluctant would mean I'm torn. You can keep me far away from that title. Oh. Phone call. Eh, well, that can go to my voicemail. That's fine. I want nothing to do with it. Makes sense? You know, the sailors are still seated around the campfire, listening to rapt attention as Grimley plays on his accordion. Same song from last week. More of the crew have since joined in. Templeton approaches, speaking to you in a hushed tone. Captain, do you hear this? It's gone long, long enough. Don't you think? I do think this is funny. Uh, unites the crew, at least. Against you. Is that what you want? This will continue until you put a stop to it. Your leadership is in question. You have to act. I've elected to leave... Grimly B. Please respect that, Templeton. Very well. If you want to do something? I will. Oh, uh oh. As the music comes to a close, Templeton marches up to Grimly. Mr. Glossy, return to your post immediately. The old man catches himself before returning to his tent in shame. Problem. Good song. What's it about? What? What is the song about? A crowd of sailors watching, um, the confrontation. The Shaw set you up to this. Just tell me, Mr. Stoke, what is this song about? Piss off. So you won't tell me. Grimly reaches forward and grabs Templeton stiffly by the collar. I said piss off. Calm down, the two of you. There's no need for this. Oh, Junior gets some loyalty. That's fine with me. 
I like Junior. Uh, Gremlin releases grip on Templeton's collar. Apologies, Captain. I was simply addressing some concerns. Templeton slinks off into his tent as the crowd disperses. Good times. Oh, are you ice fishing? Yes. Are you interested? My father would take me fishing quite often. I have some experience. Of course, it's a different story on the ice. Feel free to take the reins, Doctor. Oh, thank you. Perhaps a bit later. Okay, let's talk to all these people. I see the Chief's got into a spat with Mr. Darling. Aye. Hammond's brilliant, but he's adamant to make everything harder on himself. Not that Darling's any better. I miss that brow-beating heat. Calling this summer feels like a joke. But a lot more, old man. When it gets colder from here. On a ship with Grimley and Hunt. To be honest, that's all I've ever known. Half my earliest memories are of that. When this is over, I'm not sure what to do. You have a talent. Plenty of ships will take you on as a cook. Do I want another ship? I don't know. All I know is those days with Hunter are over. Agreed. You noticed old Kurt has been butting heads with the engineer lately. Not surprised. Mr. Hammond has butted heads with just about everyone so far. That mole man ought to be careful with who he speaks to. and He's, un he's fortunate. Kurt is so patient. Let's be fair. Kurt can be stubborn as the rest of times. No, you're too long. Miss the sea. Just don't feel right on solid ice. Captain Hunt would tell me to suck it up if you were here. Feel the same ice as no home. <laughs> I'll say it to you. Suck it up, Grimly. I mean, he is such an ass. You still haven't grown used to it. I feel the same. The ice is no home. Agreed. The sooner we get off the ice, the better. I mean... Like, it's not like his loyalty's going down, it's going up. It's just still so bad. But Junior, look where Junior is. It's fantastic. Your meditation should be commended, or your mediation should be commended, Captain. But I warn you, it's only continue to fester. Alright. Well, let's call that here. And we'll see what happens here. Oh boy, we're up to high. It's not exactly great. Alright, five elephant seals, two Hadley ping penguins. Penguins. Almost said peanuts. It's not the right thing at all. Some people are wounded. Freezing. Not overly surprising. People are cured. Healed. No longer malnourished. No. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Uh, well, we can start the next week. Week 15. Penguins. Neat. Okay. But we're going to call it here. I mean, three more weeks. So I guess three weeks now seems to be like what we're going to be doing about. That was interesting. Got to listen to some neat songs, that's for sure. I um, wonder if that'll keep continue happening then. But thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>